Any 2024 entertainment updates? Well, we got you covered in today's episode of Destination Nostalgia. Not much to report on the movie slash television shows category. However, last month, I have recently picked up the IF movie. It is heartwarming as expected, even right at my own home. After my experience with this movie in Dolby Cinema, it is definitely worth it for my DVD collection. I may be looking forward to other Paramount slash Nickelodeon DVD releases in the near future. We are happy to tell you that my overall VHS collection is now complete, with up to 300 titles or variations of titles to admire through our heart's content. If you want in-depth review videos on my VHS collection, please let us know in the comments section below. We will talk about the next entertainment topic right after these words. At TMP Cyberlink Studios, possibilities are endless. With inspiration from up to 50 different companies slash franchises, we make speculations of intriguing slash family friendly dreams, hopefully to come to reality in the near future. Please help support our channel by giving a like subscribe, ring the bell icon, and check out our community tab to experience destination nostalgia like never before. Normally I would keep going with my passion with Australian developed games, but I feel different about Stray. I have collected this about two months ago, and indeed it looks and feels like a true cat platformer. Even its game design and graphics look impressively realistic in its Unreal Engine. Overall, this game title receives a rating of 9 out of 10. This game was developed by Blue 12 Studio, based in Montpellier, France. And speaking of France, one of you guys decided for me to stick with the French-developed game, The Smurfs Dreams. Indeed, I do accept, because I've gotten used to 3D platforming games even through this current generation. Nevertheless, I may have found a potentially better title for the Australian development lineup called Mixtape. It is from the same developer who brought us the Arful Escape, though the ESRB rating is still pending. If it is the same as the Arful Escape, I may think about it for a fiscal purchase. 
If you have any other questions or updates, please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you, Nostalgia Seekers, for your attention and watching this video. We'll see you next time, as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia.